In this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace the fuel pump assembly on this Ram 1500. Let's get into it. We wanna start by taking the pressure off the fuel system. You can look in the fuse box and figure out which fuse is the fuel pump fuse for this vehicle. It's this one right here, 30 amp. Pull that out. Then you wanna start the truck and wait for it to die. That's good. Disconnect the battery, the negative side. We'll use a 10 millimeter socket. Loosen that up. Wiggle that and slide it to the side. Remove the gas cap. Set that to the side. Take these three screws out. We're gonna use a T20 socket. Loosen these up. That's good. Now that's loose. It's just gonna give us some more slack down below. Underneath the fuel tank, we're gonna use a support. Just support the tank. Now we're gonna take these two nuts off using a 16 millimeter socket. I'm just gonna do it by hand. And take that off, take the other one off. Take the nut off, pull the strap down and push the back side up and it slides right down. It's kind of keyed. We'll do the same on the back one. Pull that down and try to slide it out. And it comes right down. Start lowering the tank slightly. We still gotta loosen up the filler neck, but I just wanna pull it out a little. I'm gonna remove this line right here. There is a little lock you can see on the top. Just push that back and then there is one on the bottom. Push that forward. Then we can push down right here. Slide that line off. Oh, the lock fell off. That's okay. Put that on later. There's a hose right here. We're gonna disconnect that hose. I'm just gonna use a pick. Just get underneath here. Loosen that up. Slide that hose off out of the way. Now I'll disconnect this connector, just push down on the tab, slide that off. Now I'm gonna loosen up the filler neck, the worm clamp. Use a seven millimeter socket. All right, that should be good. And just grab the filler neck. Give it a twist back and forth. Just slide the clamp up so it's out of the way. I'm just gonna use a pick, just get underneath there. All right, pry bar. And then just pry it up. There we go, pop that off. I'll disconnect the connector for the fuel pump. There is a little lock on it, so you have to remove that. Just gonna use a small screwdriver, small straight blade screwdriver. And just move that lock over. Just push down on the tab and slide it off. Disconnect this line right here. Just push down on the tabs. And slide that out. Oh, there's a little bit of fuel coming out of there. Just pop that line out 
for here. I'm just using a pry bar, but you can use a straight blade screwdriver. Just pop these out of the retainers. There's a couple other retainers holding this in. You want to pop those out. Just use a pry bar or a screwdriver. Just be careful. You don't want to mess up the brake lines. I'll pop this line off here. You can see on the back of this, these two tabs need to get pushed in and then this whole piece will slide back. Just using a pick, just try to slide this back. Just using a blowgun just to get some of the dirt out. Some sand in there. Separate that. Grab the line and just slowly pull it back. There we go. It's just a vapor line. There's no fuel in there. Drop the tank down nice and slow. Just make sure nothing's still attached. Looking good. I'm going to take some compressed air and blow off the top of the tank so none of the dirt goes into the tank. We're going to pop this line off. I'm just using a pick on the bottom side because you're going to pull a little tab like that. That comes off and then just push on the other side and then it'll slide off. You can get a little bit of fuel. I'll just put this clip back on temporarily, just like that. Just set that aside. There is a special tool you can use to loosen up this lock ring. If you don't have one, you just use a brass punch. Just get in here and tap with a hammer. There we go. It's unlocked. Slide that off. Blow some more of that off. And grab the pump assembly and just slide it up. Let some of that fuel drain. And just dump some of that back in. Pull the float out. I just have a tray here, put it in the tray, set it aside. Pull the seal off, wipe this area, make sure there's no dirt in there. Try not to drop anything in the tank. And take the new seal, line that up, looks good. And take the float, line this up, lock that in place, and slide that in. Push that down, and take the lock ring, slide that in place. And using the tool or a punch, we'll just punch it back, tighten it down. All right, that's all the way down. Now take the hose, slide that over, and then push down on that lock. Start raising the tank up, get that close. Then we're gonna plug that in, get that lined up. Lock it in place, that's good. And then push the lock down and lock it in place. Uh, line the fuel line up. Lock that in place. And you can push all the retainers in on the side. And these retainers over here on the side. Just push those in place. Now slide this line in place, push it in. And lock it down. Raise the tank a little more. Get it kind of close. 
Now we're going to get the filler neck on. Make sure you get the clamp on. And push it on. And tighten the clamp down. Make sure the hose is not twisted. That's good. And we'll connect this tube. And we'll put this little lock on. Get it on about halfway. Right about there. Slide it on. And then push the lock down. Connect the connector. And then this hose, line that up, and push it on. That's good. Now I take this strap, slide it in place, get it hooked in on the back side. All right, with that hooked in. I'm gonna go over the stud. And I'll do the same with the other one. Torque these to 30 foot pounds. Now we can lower the support. Now slide the filler neck in place. You may have to grab it further down there. Our screws get those started. And tighten these down. Snug it down. That's good. Lock the cap down, close it up. And take the fuse, line it up, push that back in. Connect the negative terminal. And tighten it down. Snug it. And give it a wiggle, make sure it's tight. Turn the key in the on position without starting it. And then we're gonna shut it off. We just want to prime the fuel, turn it on again. Do it one more time, shut it off. And now we'll try to start it. And it starts right up. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.